What is our secret for a pain-free back? Our secret is three exercises. How can this be? In our experience, back pain usually occurs because muscles are tense, pulling too tightly, and fascia is no longer properly flexible. And that creates forces in the body that lead to back pain. And what one unconsciously trains oneself through everyday life, through sitting, through too little movement, one can consciously untrain oneself again if one knows the secret. And we're doing that now. Go onto a mat or a soft carpet. First, get down on all fours. Maybe the knees a little wider than shoulder width. You can turn your hands slightly outward. And now make yourself aware that you are rounding your lower back. That means you're making a kind of cat hump in the lower back area. And with this lifting of the abdomen, you actually go slowly, increasingly forward and let yourself down. But now you are trying to stay ahead with the groins. This means don't let your stomach sag, don't let your belly sag, let your groin sag, let your hip joint sag. That's okay. You can squeeze and tighten the buttocks a little. Then the buttocks pull you a little further in the right direction. And now you do the following. Now you go on your feet with your knees so far apart with your legs that you notice, ah, that pulls even more. Then you let yourself in nicely, stay there, practically push yourself up. By the way, if your arms can't hold you like that yet, lean on the couch or a chair with your forearms, then you will fall more easily. But always try it first so that your body can gradually get used to it. Breathe yourself in further. Always keep hanging down. And now, if you can, it doesn't have to be, but you can add some efficiency to it, namely bend your knees, you can touch your feet if you like, then it will be easier for you. And pull your feet towards your buttocks while keeping your groin down and not lifting up. And then you realize it becomes a little more challenging with the stretching. But as I said, that doesn't have to be the case. You can also slowly work your way there, a little more every day, so to speak. And now let yourself hang down further and further. This exercise is, in our experience, the most important in the fight against back pain because it dissolves the numbness that occurs when we sit down. And again, the imbalances that arise in this flexed hip position are compensated for. Keep going down with the stretch and don't forget to try pulling your feet a little further towards your buttocks. That is exhausting. If it doesn't work anymore, then maybe let your feet down towards the ground for a little while. Please do all exercises as well as you can, yes? You can start today. Tomorrow a bit more. The day after tomorrow even more. And so on. Breathe beautifully. And then you slowly go out again, take a short step in the opposite direction. And come up for a moment, arch your back. It may well be that it already feels lighter. A thumbs up would be good if you already feel something. After the first attempt, it can already be felt, right? It doesn't have to be, but it can be. And thumbs up and a nice comment, that's totally great because then YouTube realizes, oh, that's interesting for the people and plays it more. Our goal is that many people become aware that they can do something themselves against their back pain. Therefore, if it works out well, please like and write a good comment. Now we are at the second exercise. In the second exercise, we are now focusing on the back, so to speak. The front always becomes too short due to sitting, which we do not compensate for. And at the back, counter tension must be applied. And you can compensate for this by sitting like this, moving your feet facing each other, and keeping your knees nicely bent forward. 
And now reach your legs and pull yourself further forward. And try to feel this movement in the lower back so that you feel the stretch there. If you can, even reach down to your toes and keep pulling yourself forward. And then you usually notice it starts to pull in the lower back. And remember, go into this stretching pain benevolently, positively, but make sure that you stay just within the comfort pain range and that you don't overdo it because it should be fun. And pull yourself further and further forward. Breathe while consciously trying to relax your lower back. It may be that it feels really tight and that you can't bend forward as much as I have trained myself to do by now, but especially when there is so much resistance, rejoice because it gets a little better every day. You just have to stay persistent. So if you have back pain, apply this secret of these three exercises which you may have learned for the first time today, every day. Then you will have the best effects. You can find plenty of other back pain exercises. You can then choose what suits you best. But now pull yourself further forward. Always pull forward. And now, because there is so much resistance back there, we have to do a little more, okay? Now pull back with your back muscles, but hold on tight so that no movement occurs. Let go and move a little further forward. And again you pull, let me make it clear, you actually pull as if you wanted to do it. By holding on you pull against this firm resistance. And the muscles love that because then they get used to it. And the fascia then gets used to being longer, more supple and simply more relaxed. And that's what we want. Because the goal is, the older, the more pain-free, relaxed, and mobile. But for that, we have to do something. Well, glad you're here. Pull again, release, move forward. And again, you pull, let go, and we move forward. And again, you pull, let go, and we move forward. You pull, let go, and continue. And that was the second secret. And now we add the third one. And the third, we do it like this. You go into your kneeling position. And now you push your pelvis to the right and pull your torso to the left. Keep pulling over, torso to the left, pelvis to the right and a little bit more. Then you notice here it starts to pull. And when it starts to pull there, then you take the arm over here and pull even more. The left hand is now on the left thigh. This way you support yourself a little and perform the movement and you keep working your way to the left side. You take a nice deep breath, breathe out deeply and try to hold on. I know it's exhausting, but the good thing is that the strenuous exercises are always the ones that bring a lot because they also have a good training effect. It must not be too strenuous, it must still be enjoyable. Just like that. Beautifully keep going over and then slowly go up again. And now we switch. We were just like that once. First, pay attention. Grab here at the waist so that you get a good feeling. You can also let your head go nicely to the side, always going further over. And then you notice here in this area, it slowly but surely starts to pull more and more. Do a side-by-side -side comparison, left and right, because very often there is an imbalance between one and the other. 
you can make sure that it feels the same again. And then you take the hand along the right thigh and practically pull the left arm over and now you notice, now it becomes more intense. And there we go again, nicely going into this stretch. Keep going to the side. Always come over further. You notice with your right hand on your thigh, it always slips a little further down and every slip is a small victory because you realize you're getting a little more into the stretch. The more we are in the stretch, the better it is. Because we work against the pain, that is also a little secret, we simply work against the pain by making what is too short longer. This not only applies to the back, it applies to the entire body. Feel inside, how are you feeling? You may have already done a lot. And now I want to show you something special, because you can actually supplement the exercises by being completely lazy. What do I mean by that? Look, for example, if you take the back saver, you can also alternatively put a book underneath and lie on it with your sacrum and then stretch your legs. Do you remember the first exercise we did? I think you had a similar feeling then. You simply go into this stretch now. You can do this in the evening. I always recommend stretching the hip flexor nicely before the end of the workday so that there are no back pains at night. Then you could also sit there. Do you remember that when hanging, we pulled the heels to the buttocks? That really improved the effect. Now this is the implementation of such exercise. Sit on it, keep your legs bent, even more than we managed with the actively pulled exercise. And then you realize, aha, this pulls in a completely different way. It complements the stretching done in that exercise. You could do it while having a conversation with someone or while watching TV you can stretch in a passive way. But it goes even further because one also has back pain, not only in the lower back area, but also in the upper. There you can go and practically lie down on the thoracic spine and let yourself stretch out nicely. This is also good for posture because then your back can slowly but surely free itself from these total curves of round back. I'll show you briefly now so you know what you can do there. And we did an exercise earlier where we pulled ourselves forward. You can also use an exercise loop, and if you get this far, which can be good, then systematically pull yourself further forward. Always move forward, and eventually you will also arrive there. So much for the secrets of a pain-free back. Do the exercises every day so you can feel the effects. And we have more videos about back pain. Take a look, you can find them there. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe urgently and also activate the bell so that you will be reminded immediately when a new video is released. And share our videos, including this one, spread the word. Also, through the comments, express yourself about it because the goal is really for all people to find out what they can do against their back pain and other pains throughout the body, and therefore help with that, pass it on. 
People will thank you for getting the information and we always want to bring more and more people into this self-empowerment. Happy practicing until next time.